people. Yes. People. People who need people. <laughs> oh my God. How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. Holy moly. Holy and of course moly. <laughs> Morning horns.
Charles Kaji. Is that Miss Kuskaji out there? She's <laughs> hiding. Hey, you a little more of this, too, though. Thank you. Woo!
watching my TV and checking out the news till my eyeballs fail to see me to see that every day just another rotten mess ain't over. But when it's gonna change, my friend, it's anybody's guess. But I'm watching and I'm waiting.
transfigurated moon. In the frostbite night with a flap skull white, shrieking and she's about to whip a monster moon. Every time he sees the hoop, Be careful not to leave the scraps too loose. But he just might box your dog. But he just might box your dog. Trees. There was the werewolf home on the side of me. I mean, I'm bad, you know, I ain't no shame. A big chicken girl is by the name of Chrissy. Talking about her and my bike and me. And this ride up the mountain of misery, misery. Sign because I need a beer and it's too squeezing time. <laughs> you can't me. You get that back. You should have seen some of the Plus, it was Giuliani and DJ, too. Both of those suckers are worse than you. Well, let's make a deal if you think that's true. I mean, you're the devil, so what you gonna do? Well, you know, some serious doubt crosses my mind when you say that you want to make a difference. That's very, very true. Here's the thing right now. It seems like you're just an ordinary guy. Yeah, listen, devil, you know? I'm a little pissed off at you right now, devil. I thought that we were going to go out on tour. We come up to the Pacific Northwest and we're nice and cool up here. You get your ass up here before us. Look what you bring with you. 
Why do you do that to these poor people? What's the matter with you? No, I was just doing that to you, son of a bitch. I, you know, I brought her down before we got to town. Here. Oh, that's yes, right. Uh, yeah, yeah. So what's, yeah. Your, what's, what's, what's your deal, man? What's, what's, what's you got in mind here? Well, you know? My deal is I'm only interested in two things, and that's titties and beer. You know what I mean? <laughs> titties and beer? Titties and beer. That's all you want? Titties and beer. Titties and beer. Okay, well, titties and beer. Hold on there, boy. Give me time to think. I mean, that's magic. All around the world, she said. I got three beers and a piss for dabs, and I'm gonna get ripped. So fuck you, clown. She gave us the finger. It was rigid and stiff. That's when the devil he farted and she went right over the cliff. I was mad, I took off to my bed. I swear I do need better, how did she get back down? I swear I do need better, how did she get back down? I swear I do need better, how did she get back down? I swear I do need better, how did she get back down? The devil will be the gentleman. And our poor hapless hero. What is that? Poor Michael J. Moose. <laughs> Are we having fun yet, boys and girls? Okay. And now...
Oh, hell, hooray! 
is my corner. He was a daughter. Just enough room to cramp the drums in the corner over by the dodge. The 
of a beauty boy with a matched up door. Easy little lamb. And a sign on the front said Fender Jack. And a second hand guitar. It was a scratch against it was a whammy bar.
the State Foot Orchestra, boys and girls. Now here's the deal. Here's the deal. Uh, since we're on this Joe's Garage kick. Yeah. Well, no, no, that was the first album I recorded with uh, You Know Who. And uh, we're going to do another tune that he wrote for me in 1979. Okay? And uh, everybody always asks me when I do interviews and things like that, what do I have a favorite Frank Zappa tune? And the, the truth is, no, I don't, because there's too goddamn many of them. There are very, there are so many of them. But there, there are a couple of them that are really, really special to me. And uh, this one especially. It's so, so very nice.
semi-finals. Hi, Mary. Hi. How you doing? Hi. Where are you from? Hi, Mary. The bus. 
Which one? Y you know, the last tour, Leather. Oh, that's right. You're the girl that was stuck to seat 38 on 503. Why don't you get in position now and take a deep breath? Because this water is very, very cold. But it's going to be so stimulating. And Mary's the kind of a blooded American girl who'll do anything. Anything. That's right, I said anything for 50 bucks. That's right, you heard right. Our grand prize tonight is 50 American dollars and a girl with the most exciting mammalian protuberances. That's me! As viewed through a thoroughly soaked, stupid looking white sort of male person's conservative kind of middle of the road cotton undergarment. Whoopee! And here comes the water! Sounds like you just got an ice pick in the forehead. Ooh. And here comes the ice pick in the forehead. Ooh. And last anyway. Good guy you're totally so totally committed to the 50 bucks. <laughs> I really need the 50 bucks. I know, I know you're probably waiting for you in the tool shop. Alright, why don't you step into the spotlight let the guys get a good look at you, honey? What do you say, guys? Nice set of jugs? How's about shaking them around a little? Oh my goodness, look at her go! Ain't this what the is really all about? <laughs> Alright, here's your 50 bucks, Mary. Thanks. Now I can get home. Home is where the heart is. On the bus. <laughs>
girls and perverted I'm obsessed in the ring I have existed for years But very, very little has changed I'm the tool of the government And industry too For I am destined to ruin And regulate you I may be right and pernicious But you can't look away I make you think I'm delicious With the stuff that I say I'm the best you can get Have you guessed me yet? I am the Thank <laughs> you.
I'm out of sight. He said, find out your tourist card. I can reach Seattle tonight. Yeah. I was really willing and able to pay him this regular fee. We would talk about the rest of his pressing affairs and devote his attention to me, but I said,
I really want to know if he did anything good inside of me. If he is, I really want to know if he did anything good inside of me. If he is, I really want to know.
it going in a little white box that I could somehow. But by myself, I wouldn't have no boss, because I'd be raising my Darwin, welcome to Ross. And he's looking around. Well, I'd have me a crop. And it'd be on top. That's why I'm moving about now. Moving to Montana soon. Gonna be a girl of Ross.
Without our crew, they work their asses off. Yes, Scotty Murray behind the board. Uncle Scotty on the board. Wayne Mears, our driver, extraordinaire. Uncle Alan over there at the table. Go oh, buy t shirts, do things, and etc. Remember, kids. Just call me Hedgerman. Get me, baby. Get me, baby. Well, 
I got me just about as evil as an Eskimo boy can be. So I bent down, I reached down, I scooped down, and I gathered up a cherry spitting full of the dead. Everybody! Whereupon I proceeded to take that mitten full of the deadly yellow snow crystals and rub it all into his beady little eyes with a very circular motion hitherto unknown to the people in this area, but destined to take the place of the mud shark in your mythology. Here it goes now. The circular motion rub it.
Maybe you know who he is. Not that they get his problems. What's with him about the battle? What can he tell his problems? You look at my lyrics. I'm glad you want to pop. Thank you very much.